أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تقبل الله ومنا ومنكم Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi barakat. As we miss each other for the blessed month of Ramadan and the same for this blessed and joyous day of Eid. Without a doubt, these have been a few months and specifically a Ramadan that we will remember for the rest of our lives. Our patience, iman, and trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have been put to the test. Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, If Allah wants to do good to somebody, He afflicts him with trials. While this Ramadan was filled with trials and tests from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, it has given us an opportunity to increase our Iman, build unwavering trust in Him, and fortify our dependence in Him as a Razak, the Provider. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Indeed, our hardship will be eased. Even though we have not completely emerged from this pandemic, we have completed Ramadan and can appreciate a few precious moments of ease. A time to glorify and praise our Creator, a time to rejoice. Today, we bid farewell to a month that we would not like to see leave and mark the arrival of this blessed day of Eid al-Fit. This day, there will be no Eid Salah in the parks or the Masajid, nor goodie bags and cotton candy for the kids in the park. While there will be no large gatherings of family and friends in our home, we celebrate and are thankful for the favors Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us. Thankful for the blessing of life. Thankful to the essential and frontline workers that have cared for us and put themselves at risk for our benefit. Thankful for our family. Thankful for the opportunity to serve others. We pause today to celebrate with our close friends and encourage everyone to gather virtually with extended friends and families to share Eid greetings and do our best to bring some comfort and smile to them. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cure those that are stricken with illness and hardship and forgive those that have returned to him. May he accept from you and from us our fasting, our salah, our dua, our charity, our recitation of Quran and accept all good deeds. May he fill this day with comfort and joy upon the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It still remains a special time. You still remain special to us. So we send special Eid greetings to you and your family. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless all of us, our families and our Ummah. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala accept all of our Ibadah in this blessed month and the rest of the year too. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to improve our faith and trust in Him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us, have mercy on us, and grant us Janatul Firdaus, all of us including you too. Amen. We love you. From all of us at Masjid as siddiq 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 From all of us at Masjid as siddiq